Hey guys, welcome to your final unit of your Algebra 1 course. In this unit, we're going to be taking a step away from Algebra a little bit and looking more at some statistics. In a lot of these lessons, you'll see things that you have seen before in previous years, especially middle school. And especially in this first lesson that we're about to do, Lesson 8-1, it's really going to focus on really some basic statistics skills that you are familiar with from middle school. We're going to look at measures of center, like mean, median, and mode, as well as some measures of spread, like range and their quartile range. So it's all stuff you've seen before. These will be quick, short little videos on each section. So let's just go ahead and jump in and get started. All right, so in this first video, we are going to start discussing some of our measures of center. So one way to describe data is to use measures of center. Measures of center are going to be summary measures that are used to describe the most typical values in the data set. The first one that we're going to look at in this video is going to be the median. Now the median is going to be the middle term in a set of data. To find the median is a pretty simple process. The first thing we're going to want to do is to put it in order from least to greatest. So if I'm going to look at example one, I am going to, before I do anything else, put these numbers in order from least to greatest. So my smallest number is 12, and then I'm going to have 18, 19, 21 and 25. I've now put them in order so now I want to find the middle number. One way that I like to go about doing this is to just cross off numbers on either side. So I'm going to start on one side. I'm going to cross one from the beginning, one from the end. I'm going to cross the next one on the left and the next one on the right until I'm left with just one number in the middle. And that one number in this case is going to be 19. So 19 would be my median for this set. Now that worked out really nicely because we left with just one number in the middle. Sometimes you are going to encounter data sets where you are going to have two numbers left in the middle. You either have to cross them both off or leave them both. You won't have one number that's just in the middle. So when this happens, what you'll have to do is you'll have to add the two middle points together and divide the sum by two to give you the data's median. And the median is going to best describe data that is affected by outliers. Outliers are going to tend to pull some of our other measures of center further one way or the other. The median, since it's a middle number, if we just have one extra number at the top or one extra number at the bottom, it's not going to be swayed quite as easily as things like the mean or the mode might be. All right, so we do want to look at an example where you are going to have a situation where you may have more than one number left over in the middle. So let's look at example two. Remember, the first thing we want to do is put our numbers in order. So I'm going to have 75, 78, 81, 89, 94, and 100. Again, I'm going to cross off numbers from each side. I'm going to cross off one from the left, one from the right, one from the left, one from the right. And you'll notice this time I'm left with two numbers. If I crossed off one from each side, there wouldn't be anything left. I would have to be stuck with these two numbers. So what I'm going to do is I have to find the number that is halfway in between those. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to take 81 plus 89, and I'm going to divide by 2. That's going to tell me the average of those, the middle number. So 81 plus 89 is going to be 170. I'm going to divide 170 by 2, and that is going to give me 85. So my median for this problem is going to be 85. That's going to fall right in between the 81 and the 89. All right, that's all there is to median. Go ahead and give these two you try problems an attempt, and we'll be back in the next video.